Hey guys, it's Emery again with Ultra Sabers, and I'm here today to show you guys how to install sound fonts onto your Obsidian lightsaber and also how to change the sensor settings on your Obsidian lightsaber using the Obsidian Launcher. Now, in order to do this, you guys will need the Obsidian Launcher installed onto your PC. If you haven't done so already, please refer to my install video that shows you guys how to get that installed successfully. Um, if you've already done that, let's go ahead and get some sound fonts installed. The first thing you need to do is head to ultrasabers.com and download some sound fonts. To do so, just click on where it says Obsidian Sound Fonts here. Go right in here. You do not have to pay for these, so don't add them to cart. Exactly as it says here, just click the links below. These are free for your personal use. We have Sith, Classic, Starkiller, and a few others. Compilation here, two new ones. And of course, the default Obsidian Sound Font. Now, if you install any of these sound fonts onto your soundboard and you don't like the way they sound, a lot of people wonder how they get the sound font back into their lightsaber that came with it. And it's right here. This is your default Obsidian sound font. You just download that and put it onto your lightsaber the same way you would any other sound font. There is no reset the default or anything like that for the sound font. You actually need to download this default sound font and then install it onto your lightsaber. For today, I'm just going to do the Sith sound font. Just click on it, save the file to your computer wherever you wish. And again, this is going to be zipped up, so you need either WinRare or WinZip or some program of that sort in order to open it. So go ahead and open this up. If put these all into a folder. I'm going to name this folder Sith. Take all the files. and move them into your folder. So, I've extracted all the files from this zip file that I downloaded from off the Ultra Sabers, Ultra Sabers website. Have them in a folder. Now, we're gonna go over to our lightsaber. Now we need to hook up the lightsaber to the computer using a mini USB cord. We do offer these on a the website. So you just remove your pommel Take out your soundboard and your battery pack. Um, first thing first, before you guys do any procedures with your Obsidian soundboard and the Obsidian launcher, please, please make sure that your batteries are fully charged. The last thing you want is for your batteries to die during a download of a sound font. Bad things happen. So just make sure your batteries are fully charged before you do anything with the Obsidian launcher. So. In order for your computer to detect the soundboard, the sound, the soundboard needs to be actually turned on. So turn on your lightsaber, take your USB cord, plug it in. Now, back here on a computer, um, if this is your first time connecting this, you will get something telling you that the drivers are installing. That's a good thing. Uh, you actually need to wait till that completes and the drivers are successfully installed. Depends on your computer how long that's going to take. If it's taking really long, you may need to open this up here and actually just click on where it says skip searching for updates because you're not going to find the drivers online. So you can click skip searching for updates and it'll actually install the drivers locally. So after your driver is successfully installed, just open up the Obsidian Launcher. And go here and open it up. Sound should stop. This should be illuminated and it's going to give you your serial number and the type of soundboard you have. Now, I said this in a previous video and I just want to say it again. Before you do any operations with the launcher, please read the file that says read me. Just please take the time to read that file. You guys paid a lot of money 
for your lightsaber and your obsidian soundboard. Just take the time to do things right. Read the README file. It tells you exactly how to use the launcher. More than I'm going to be able to tell you in this video here. So just read that entire README file. So once you have this open, if you look up here, we have a couple icons. If you want to go ahead and change the sensor settings, just click on these, this hammer and wrench here. And it has all of your settings here. So if you want to change this thresh threshold, go ahead and play with these. Honestly, I like the default settings perfectly fine. It, they work perfectly for me, but if you need it to be more or less sensitive, go ahead and play with these and get it to where you're comfortable. And down here, this is our new addition where it says lockup flash timing. This actually affects both the lockup flash and your flash on clash flash. So if you want that to be either faster or slower, you can increase this. And this is in milliseconds. So this will be a full second. This will be half of a second right in the middle. Just go ahead and change this to where you're comfortable with it. I personally like it at right about a half a second. I think it's too fast the way it comes default. But right about half a second is good for me. And then just click send configuration. Now go ahead and close this window. And that operation is complete. Now, here's another thing. Let's go ahead. This is a really big warning and suggestion for everyone. Anytime you finish an operation, just go ahead and close out the launcher. So just click the X up here and completely close this out. Don't unplug the, the USB cord. Don't turn your saber on, just close this. So whether you're uploading the sound font or changing the sensor settings before you do anything else, just close this out. Soundboard cut on. Let's go ahead and cut it off. And now we're gonna do some sound font installs. Let's cut the lights here back on. And open up the Obsidian Launcher. So again, basic principle here is, is after every operation, just go ahead and close your launcher and start it back up. So you don't want to play with your sensor settings and then start uploading sound fonts and go back to the sensor settings after each and every operation. Just close the launcher and start it back up. Now we're going to go ahead and install that Sith sound font that I downloaded. It was on the desktop. It's in the folder called Sith. And here are all the sound files. You need to move each correlating file over here onto your USB, your Obsidian USB, USB boot file, power on. It's down here, power on. These are in alphabetical order. Power off. Idle, sometimes called the hum. Let's go ahead and find that here. It's actually labeled idle. Sometimes it's also called the hum. So idle and hum are both the same. Motion sent sounds are also called swing sounds. So they will either be labeled motion or swing. You can put as many in there as you wish. Just limit it by the amount of memory on the soundboard. Impact sounds. Impact sounds are also called clash sounds sometimes. And then your lockup sound. So multiple lockup sounds on here. I'm just going to pick the one. You can pick multiple lockup sounds in here, just like motion sounds, and it'll play one of them randomly. That's totally up to you. Or if you want to, another trick is you can just go ahead and pick the idle sound in the lockup, and it'll be as if you don't even have a lockup sound. We're just going to go ahead and pick a lockup sound in there. And after you fill these boxes uh, to your desire, we're going to click download, which is down arrow. Now this bar at the bottom tells you how much of the memory on the soundboard you've used. This is about a third or so, a little bit more than a third. So we have a lot more room that I could put more motion sounds or impact sounds or lockup sounds. But uh, this should be fine here. I'm just going to go ahead and click download sound files to the obsidian 
and then we're going to go ahead and let this download. Still waiting on this to finish downloading. And after it downloads, we have success. Now, as I said before, the main thing, don't have a bright idea and go change your sensor settings. As soon as you finish an operation, the first thing you want to do is close the Obsidian Launcher. After each and every operation, Now what that does is it tells your lightsaber that it's time to go back to normal lightsaber operation. If you were to unplug your USB cord or try to do something else, it's going to confuse the soundboard just after each operation, be sure to close the launcher. It tells your soundboard, let's get back to normal lightsaber operation. Now again, if we wanted to do something else, change the sound file again or change the sensor settings, let's cut the lightsaber on. Open a launcher and we're back in business. It's really just that easy. And again, if you wanted to go back to factory defaults to get rid of the change we made previously on the sensor settings, just click factory default, send a configuration, close the window, and of course, close the Obsidian launcher. You guys should say that with me. After every operation, close the Obsidian launcher. If you run into issues, I guarantee it's going to be because you didn't close the Obsidian Launcher. So just do that after every operation and you will be fine. So as your lightsaber, we're back into regular lightsaber operation. And there you guys go. That's how you change your sensor settings. That's how you install your sound fonts, all using your Obsidian Launcher. Have any other questions feel free to email me at info at ultrasabers.com i'm always there to help hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching